Hey guys, it's Amanda with Purple Panda Productions and today we're going to talk about audio gear. Now since starting this YouTube channel, I have been messing around with different types of audio gear. When I first started this YouTube channel, I was using the Rode VideoMic Go, which is something that I've had since the start of my videography career. And then I later bought the Tascam DR10L for weddings, interviews, and it's a really, really good mic for those purposes. And then recently I got the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus which is said to be one of the most go-to shotgun mics for YouTubers, content creators, and others alike in this industry. But lately, it's been really disappointing. I've had a really tough time with it. I've transitioned from using the Tascam mic to the Go mic to the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. And surprisingly, the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus has really not lived up to my expectations. Now granted, the price is $300 compared to the other two mics I have, and it's supposed to include all these different features. For instance, it's supposed to have a two-stage high-pass filter, such as traffic noise from outside or like an air conditioning running, etc. It also has a three-stage gain control where you can control how much decibels you want your audio to be. So if you're someone who talks very shyly, there's an option you can higher the decibels to plus 20 decibels or vice versa, lower minus 10 decibels for your audio. That way you have more flexibility depending on your audio situation. This microphone is also powered by a lithium battery or you can put two AA batteries. And the nice thing about this microphone is granted that it is battery powered, once you plug your microphone into the camera, it would only turn on when you turn on the camera. But granted, all these great features, it just really hasn't done me any good in my case. Now I've used these for some of my past videos, such as some of my vlogs, and in those cases it does work out. I've also used this on real world shoots when I'm recording audio in a high traffic setting. But for some reason, when it comes to making YouTube videos and I put the audio in to post and I edit, it just does not come out the way I want it to. And maybe some of it does have to do with that it does have a high frequency boost, which helps for male voices since they have that low bass tone. But for someone like me who is a woman and my voice is a little bit higher, it kind of overcompensates for that high pitch of my voice and makes the audio just not sound as good. Now back to the beginning. Before I was using this mic, which is the Rode Video Mic Go. Now, from a lot of other content creators, I've heard a lot of bad things about this microphone, but in my personal opinion, it got the job done. In my early stage of media production, I used this for everything, to record recitals, to record interviews, and in my opinion, it works pretty well. Now this microphone, I believe, only comes around about $100 or more. I'll put the price somewhere down here. And granted that all the bad reviews that I've seen on YouTube and from other content creators, I personally believe in my opinion and my experience that this is a good microphone to start off on. Now switching over to the Tascam DR10L, it is a lavalier microphone. Now the nice thing about it, rather than having to hook that microphone in to a separate zoom recorder or audio recorder, it has the recorder itself come with it. And the nice thing about that is that the recorder has many different features and produces high quality audio. The Tascam DR10L is very compact and lightweight, which is perfect for those using it for interviews and weddings because you want to have something that is not dragging any piece of clothing that your subject might have on. Again, like I said, it's a linear PCM recorder that creates and puts out such high quality audio. It records in a WAV format versus an MP3 file and you have the option of either having a mono channel or a stereo poly channel. If and when you decide to get this recorder, it comes in this nice little compact package here and it shows Tascam in the front right there. And when you open it, you will find the recorder along with the lavalier microphone attached to it. And it's really nice, really compact. Another great feature of this piece of equipment is that it has a slider on the side right here. Let's see if we can focus. And with that slider, basically what it does is in case 
you put this recorder into your subject's pocket or put it to the side, it prevents the recorder from having an accidental misuse as if someone were to touch the buttons or anything. You can also slide it and lock it. That way, any buttons that are touched during the time of recording will not affect the current audio that is recording. This recorder also has options to record a safety track. That way, if you have someone who's speaking a little bit louder, you can record two tracks at the same time, one at the normal level, another one a couple decibels lower. That way you can save that audio from peaking. Another great feature of this recorder is that you can actually play back and listen to the audio if you plug in headphones into the recorder itself. That way you don't have to take out the micro SD card that is used to record this audio and then put it into your computer. You can listen to it straight out of the recorder to see if there's anything you need to be fixed or anything that you need to re-record during your shoot. And one last great feature of this recorder is that it does come in two colors. So for those of you that are making wedding videos. Flexibility of having two colors really helps well for hiding the lavaliers used in different pieces of clothing like black or white clothing. White for the bride and black for the groom and the efficient if you're using it in those settings. And now for an audio test. This is where it's going to really get interesting and hopefully when I edit this back in my computer when I'm all done recording this video, I hope that you and myself are able to see a difference. So this is the audio being used from the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. This is how it sounds, this is how my voice sounds, and I'm speaking, and I'm speaking. And this is the audio used from the Tascam DR10L lavalier microphone. I'm hoping that this audio sounds a little bit better, and hopefully you can tell a difference between the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus and the Tascam DR10L. All right, so hopefully you can tell a difference from the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus and the Tascam DR10L. This YouTube video was mainly recorded with the Tascam DR10L, so I'll be using that for the main source of audio. One thing to know about these different microphones is that if you do end up choosing the Tascam DR10L, you would have to do one extra step in syncing the audio from this mic over to your footage, whereas if you use the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus, that is already synced into the camera. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, let me know in the comments what you think, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks guys, bye.